out, move! Feels great. Feels good to get back. Good to do some damage under the dome. I think the dome's trying to tell us something. The dome doesn't have it. Yes, it does, Dad. The dome is more than you think it is. This season is gonna rock. <laughs> I think it's like high school, but we're sophomores now. I'm so excited to continue the saga of the folks trapped under the dome in Chester's Mill. Particularly exciting that Stephen King is launching the season with the first episode. When we jump back in, we are literally a direct cut from where we left off last year, which is Barbie about to swing from the gallows. When someone comes up to me and they ask me, you know, what's happening next? It's like, I'm just as excited about what's happening next as they are. Watch out! The shock and awe that we created in the first season is going to be one-upped big time. We have the basic survivalistic, you know, the like, survivor issues, and then you have the character interplay and the love stories and the conflicts, and then of course we're a sci-fi show. And we have this huge dome and we're trying to figure out who put it there. You're the one tearing Chester's mill apart. No, I'm the one with the guts to do what needs to be done! Nobody is safe um, in this season. We have 14 characters who met their demise last season that are on the beam on our ceiling. There's plenty of room on the beam for more. The members of Chester's Mill are gonna see people leaving and see that this really is a life or death situation. You know, it creates a crazy anxiety. You know, I mean, when you're reading the script, you're kind of turning the pages like, am I next? You know, you just never know. They can't do anything to get out. However, there are people coming in. We can end this, Junior incredible problems that are going to happen, pestilence and running out of resources and running out of patience. More mysterious things are happening to everybody and, and the kind of amped up dynamic of who we're all turning into. Each one of these characters is going to go on their own journey and will yet again end up different from where they started. No one wants Jim dead. And I don't think this is going to stop until that happens. I'm glad they all want me out of the dome, but then what fun would the dome be, right? If everyone's holding hands singing Kumbaya, what, uh, what kind of show would that be, you know? It's no longer about what the past of these characters are. It's very much about what is coming in the future and what we have to do.